I'm going to show you how to edit this photo in Lightroom right after the intro. What is going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm back with another exciting tutorial. Now before we start, go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. And all the awesome people would leave a thumbs up. So I made this video for those of you who doesn't want to get into Photoshop or not yet ready to move into Photoshop. This is a Just Lightroom edit and I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide. Now if I've missed anything within the video or if you have any questions regarding the tutorial then go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll make sure to answer your queries. All right that's it let's move to Lightroom. All right so here's what we are going to do first. We're going to apply the basic adjustments and overall adjustments and then we're going to move into more of local adjustments. So let's start. The first thing I've noticed in this picture that it's a little bit dark. It's very exposed in this area and this area it's underexposed. So let's fix that. And so I'm going to add a little bit of exposure, say around there. And I'm going to recover the highlights. Now this is the highlight slider and I'm going to drop it down. But that's a bit too much. So let's go take it back. And my 65 is good. Moving onwards, I'm going to raise the shadows to get or recover the details of from the shadows, like so. Next, I'm going to drop the blacks to bring the contrast back. So, let's see. Around 40 was good. Yep. All right, let's add more whites to the photo by moving this slider. So I wouldn't add much to be honest, just a tad. Because I feel the whites over here are not really popping out yet. All right, moving onwards with the basic adjustments, let's add a bit of contrast, which is the tonal contrast and overall for this photo. So this is a bit too much. I wouldn't recommend dragging the slider to the end. I'd rather select somewhere where it's just there. That's not too much. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to desaturate the photo like so, say around here, and then we're going to selectively bring back the colors back to the photo. All right, just a note before moving onwards, I'd like to personally thank everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Thank you for your support. And for those who haven't, please go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on my weekly episodes. The next one's going to be an epic one. All right, carrying on, I'm going to selectively bring the colors back using the HSL filter. And I'll start with the red. So this is the red slider and I really need the red to pop out. So I'm going just to move the slider towards the end. And um, let's see how the orange behave because it's a tone of the red. So I'm just going to put that up a bit. And let's look at the yellow. I'm just going to put it there. I'll skip the green for now because we don't have a lot of greens in the photo. And for the blues or the aquas, I'm just going to keep it there. Yeah, perhaps the same thing with the blues. Now, it depends, really. Now, if you want the sky to be blue, like so, you can drag the blue slider. If you don't, you can always just desaturate and leave it there. I'm just going to leave it down here. All right, let's have a look at the luminance. I'm just going to put that up a bit, just a tad, like so. And we're good to go. All right, so now that we're done with the global basic adjustments, I'm going to move to the local adjustments, meaning applying adjustments to specific areas of the car. Things like the rims, the headlights, and I need to correct the whites on this area. Okay, so let's start by dodging the rims. Let me zoom in a bit. 
like so. And I'm going to select the brush. And here are the settings. So I'm just going to increase, add a bit of exposure, let's say one, around one, and then the white's at nine, and a clarity of 10 or 20 if you want to start with. You can always go back and adjust this accordingly. Now, because my laptop is dying, I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to speed up the process. All right, so let me just start dodging around these areas. Like so. All right, so I'm done dodging the front rim. And for the interest of time, I'm not going to touch the back one. Actually, I'm going to make this file available for you to download and follow along. You can find a link to download this file in the description below. All right, so moving onwards, let's add a local adjustments to the headlights. I'm going to decrease this because this is a little bit too much. And I'm just going to keep the same settings for both, maybe add a bit of sharpness and I'm going just to apply it on the headlight like so of course I'm doing this roughly you can fine-tune it when you work on this photo all right moving onwards uh, let's create another adjustment and this time we're going to target this white these white areas on the front let me just reset this and I'm going to increase the whites say around there to start with and I'm just going to paint all right let's add more whites to this now let's see if we can control the range by applying a color mask and I'm going to select a sample so around there so it only applies it to the white areas of the car so let's continue just feel that I've missed a spot or two over here you can always look at your mask by um, yeah just like hovering over that point like so yeah, it's, it's a messy work. Like I said, I'm doing it for the sake of the speed of this tutorial and the time of this tutorial. You can always fine tune it yourself later on. Okay. All right, so coming up next, I'm going to darken the ground. And let me reset this. I've selected a brush and I'm going to drop the exposure, say, I don't know if this is too much. We can um, fine tune it later on. Okay, and let's darken away. All right, so we're done, but looking at it, I think it's too dark. So let's adjust that. All right, that's good. Let's add a bit of clarity. Say around 20. All right, let's adjust that a little bit more. All right, that's good. All right, so let's add a graduated filter and I'm going to add it down here and I'm going to stretch it to the car. And this is just to darken this area so it kind of leads to the car and gives more attention to the car. Now maybe we need to adjust that just a little because it's just too dark right now. And around there is good. Now let's add a flare down there. Now it's very hard to do flares with Lightroom, but I'm going to show you how you can kind of get a flare. So I'm just going to 
grab the radio filter and I'm going just to drag it like so. We can again always adjust it as we go. All right, I'm going to reset this and I'm going to invert it. And I'm going to increase the exposure within that filter like so. Let's increase the highlights and a bit of light and uh, drop the dehaze. Right, that's a little bit too much. We will adjust it in a bit. Well, let's adjust the circle. All right, so let's fix this. Drop the highlights down and the whites and the dehaze. All right, let's drop the exposure down. All right, we got ourselves kind of a flare. You can always, again, adjust the parameters of the radial filter to just get a better flare, I guess. All right, I've noticed that we have a sensor dust down here, so let's just remove it. And I'm going to use the spot removal. So I'm just going to click down here and it's going to select a sample and we're done. All right, there's one more thing that we need to do in Lightroom, especially when you're doing everything in Lightroom, like lifting the blacks or, or modifying colors, is you start introducing some noise in the photo. So let's go ahead and remove that noise. So I'm going to drastically add this, say around 60, just to remove any noise that we may have. Now remember, each photo is different, so it really depends on your photos. You need to find the right number for each of the adjustments that we've used. All right, I'm not liking the flare. Let me just go back and adjust it. That's more like it. All right, and we're done. So let's have a look at the before. This is the before. Now let's have a look at the after. That's a huge difference, especially when you're just editing in Lightroom. All right, YouTube, so we've reached the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video.